How do you block ChatGPT plugins from accessing your website? And why do you have to do that in the first place? Let's say you are the verge.com. So you work on content creation and your business is to make money only when people visit your website. Let's say you use Google ads or you use some kind of advertisement and you will make money only when people visit your website. And that's why you are creating a lot of articles, a lot of content. And with the tools like ChatGPT and Bing search, what is happening is that these tools, these AI based search engines are crawling your website and taking content from it. And it is going to display to the user so that the user doesn't have to visit the website. So now this actually puts a lot of business in risk because they would not like the users, humans would not visit these websites. And if humans don't visit these websites, these websites are not going to make money and your profession as a content creator is going to get affected. For that, there is a solution. There are something called ChatGPT plugins. ChatGPT plugins are not widespread at this point, but these plugins exist where there is one of the plugin is a browser plugin. User can ask question about a particular website. The ChatGPT plugin would go to that particular website, take the content, try to answer the question that the user asked without the user having to visit the website. And that is happening with this user agent called ChatGPT user. So ChatGPT user is a plugin used in the ChatGPT. This user agent will be only used to take directions on behalf of ChatGPT users and it is not crawling the web in automatic fashion. So if you take search engines like Google, Bing, um, DuckDuckGo, DuckDuckGo doesn't have its own crawler, I think. But yeah, if you take these kind of search engines, they automatically crawl anything that comes on the internet. But what happens with ChatGPT plugin is only when the user initiates this, user asks a question about this particular search, a particular website, then ChatGPT plugin would, or particularly this user agent would try to go collect information about what the user is asking. If you don't want that, how do you stop it? First thing to know is this is the user agent. So you know for sure, this is the full user agent string. You so like, for example, if you have web, web analytics data, if you want to exclude or if you want to filter how much of your traffic currently is coming from ChatGPT user, which is only for ChatGPT plugin, then you can go filter this full user agent in your Google Analytics, Adobe Analytics data. But if you want to discourage this user agent, particularly ChatGPT from accessing your website, then all you have to do is add this to your robots.txt. So if you are familiar with SEO, you know that there is a, there is a file called robots.txt in your top level domain. So you can, you can in the root, you can add this. So to disallow plugins to access your site, you can add this to your robots.txt and this is how you have to add user agent, disallow everything. So basically you're saying I am going to disallow everything that, you know, that uh, chat GPT uh, user can access to allow the chat GPT plugin only to certain parts of the website. You can say like this user agent disallow, but allow these parts. So you can say you can access only directory one and directory two and you can let them access it. This is again very critical because if you remember the AMP world, uh, which, which Google tried to do, if you remember a lot of these kind of summarizations, sometimes people like to give access to, sometimes people like to give access to these tools, a part of the website while not giving access to a certain part of the website. So it's like a hook users would come to the website, but you know, uh, the so AI tools would access only the part of the website, but for full information, they have to come to the entire website. So this is another important strategy. I, a lot of people use, if you want to explicitly allow, if you want to like explicitly give consent that I am completely fine if chat GPT plugin can access my website, then you can just say user agent chat GPT user and disallow empty. Now I'm going to show you where the robot.txt is there. If you do not know. So, there is a website called theverge.com, like, like a lot of websites are there. This is one of the popular websites. You add slash and then say robots.txt, R O B T S dot txt and enter it. And that will take you to the existing robots.txt. And as you can see, they have uh, blocked Google bot news from accessing these places. They have blocked any user agent from accessing these places and they have got the sitemap. So if you were to block chat GPT, you have to just say user agent chat GPT user and disallow slash. That means you are basically blocking chat GPT plugins from accessing any part of the website. And if you want to particularly allow one particular section, then you can block everything uh, or keep the disallow empty and then allow certain parts. 
So this is up to you. How do you want to play with? But if this is the page which I will link in the YouTube description that has the information about the user agent token that has the information about the full user agent string, which is quite critical. If you are trying to, you know, filter the web analytics data with the chat GPT user and then see how it is happening. But also just to remind you the chat GPT plugin, this user agent is not crawling the internet and the automatic web automatic search engine fashion, <laughs> but, but you know, like they've already collected all the information uh, till 2021. But the latest information, it's not going to crawl. But if you want to know what is chat GPT plugins are going to do, chat GPT user is the user agent. I hope this video was helpful to you in uh, learning how to block chat GPT plugins. If you are a content creator, a lot of people might not realize how important it is for a lot of publishing industry because the entire publishing industry, most of the publishing industry actually works on advertisement and that will happen only when they get views and clicks and that will happen only when a human visit not if a bot visit. So yeah, this, this video is supposedly to help those people if they want to explicitly block chat GPT plugin from accessing their website. If you have any other question, give, let me know in the comment section. Otherwise see you in another video. Happy prompting.